Good morning. As you saw from yesterday's episode, this engine was running. It, the machine was driving back and forth. We uh, we fixed the binding of the gas and the brake pedals. And uh, what we did notice, though, that the engine was kind of surging, which means that we need to do a carburetor clean because there could be some excess gunk clogging the jets. Not to mention the fact that I never took this apart before in my life, so it'd make a good video, you know? So uh, I'm gonna set you up for a good view of this area. We're gonna take the carburetor apart and we're gonna clean it. As you know, recently I picked this electric corded home light weed whacker off the street from a tip from Quinn the Mailman the other day. Picked it up, brought it home, plugged my cord in here and... Works just fine. Listed it on uh, my local, you know, offer up, Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace for 20 bucks. And some guy is gonna come and buy it for 15 bucks. I told him I would leave it between the two cars. It'd be plugged into a cord so you can go like that. And if you like it and you want it, leave $15 under my windshield wiper. No contact sales. First thing we're gonna do is remove the air cleaner cover. Air cleaner, wing nut that holds it. Boop, comes right out. Looks like we're gonna remove three 10 millimeter bolts, uh, nuts, to take this plate off so we can have access to the air filter base. 10 millimeter socket on my 3 8 impact. Huh, look at that. The nut came off of this stud, but this, the entire stud came out. And you know what? They look different. So, a full bolt comes out of the bottom, and the top two are studs. Nuts on studs. You think that's stock, or is that somebody messed up? Who knows? So now the plate comes off slowly. The center one like that. I don't know, I don't think it's stock. I think the stud was just missing. This looks like uh, 3 8 but then it's millimeters, so it's probably eight millimeter. Five sixteenths fits. Two long studs. Henry, you should put that somewhere safe. All right, I will. Break the sticky seal. Almost feels like there's a gasket, and there is. Don't want to break it. It's got a vacuum hose here for the vent. Pop that off. This is just the plastic here to get that off. Gasket looks good. Huh, that seems really easy, fellas. the hose clamp out of the way. There we go. That's the uh, fuel from the fuel pump. It's not gonna pop, come out because it's not gravity fed. It's fuel pump uh, delivered. So unless the crankcase, the engine is running and the crankcase is cranking, there's no pulse. Therefore, no fuel will come out unless maybe you do that. There you go. So, so this looks like it could just pop.
pop out, but you got the linkages here. You got the choke linkage over here. And you got the throttle linkage over here with a clip on it. I'm gonna loosen this clip right there. Right? This clip holds this throttle in there, and it's not a Z-bend, but rather you need the clip, otherwise it'll come out. And that slips right out. And then there's a small little wire here that's very important. Small little spring with a hook that's hooked onto that thing. So I just hope I remember what to do later. So it looks like this just slides right out, but it's not easily slid. Aha! There's a fuel solenoid on the very back. And it doesn't look like you can disconnect it. It's not an easy snap-on, snap-off kind of thing. So I'm just going to pull this carburetor off. Looks like I'm bending this choke lever a little bit. I think maybe I need to remove the... I need to loosen this choke lever. still doesn't work. I'm going to just pull it off. There's a choke lever right here. Stick this back in that hole. Like that. And as you can see, the fuel solenoid is connected here. So I'm going to remove this fuel solenoid now. gotta be a better way but I don't know about one. Oh son of a bitch I don't know what just flew off it's gas all over the place it's leaking all over the place too so let's see if this works Seems like it works. I might cut that or this gasket fell off the back. Gotta make sure I know how it goes. I wish I knew if this was how it went. I'm not sure. All right, look, I'm comparing it to this. That looks like it's right because it's got a hole there. Yep. I think these tabs are on the top. See, there's a hole there. And there's a hole in that spacer. So I'm sure that's how it went. Okay. And here it is. Ooh. Remember, there's a little gasket for the solenoid that solenoid didn't seem to move in and out you know let me let me go sit on it and uh, step on the brake and see if it works didn't doesn't seem to work does it so how was it getting fuel you know what I mean doesn't seem to work I think I might cut it. So this is the front. Is this, no, that's not the front. This is the front. Yeah, this is the front. Choke flap. Throttle flap. This is the idle screw. And looks like we can take the bottom part here off. This thing here, I don't know what this is. It seems to be blocked off. Can I take it off? 
I don't know what that is. It has a C on it. Here are fuel adjustments, right? I'm gonna have to take these off and blow through them. I would like to know what this is, whether or not I should take it off, you know? And I don't want to break it, you know? But this could be vital. Don't know what this is. Magazine here, under here with cardboard and a uh, rag, just so I can have a nice table here. So apparently this is the bowl, right? And it's uh, four slotted screws or Phillips. On the very bottom here, looks like it's missing something, isn't it? Like this this thing here, I mean, there's you can't go through, but it seems like it kind of goes through there, but I don't know what, what that is, you know, what this is. It looks like something belongs here, but it doesn't. Here is where the fuel solenoid goes into, right? Like that. But I just find it a little unusual that, um, it has this on the bottom with that hole. I mean, it looks like something goes here, you know, because this hole leads into it. So I don't know what the story is with that, but first things first, let's, let's take this apart, let's take the bowl off. go Let's take a look uh, this is the front there's a float very interesting and there's the bottom and honestly it doesn't look dirty at all not at all looks clean there's a uh, there's a jet in here. Looks like you can remove it too. I'm gonna have to try to do that. Let's see how I'm gonna get in there though. Got a carburetor one here. Will it fit? Yeah, it will fit. Ooh, I got it. I never get it. There you go. I don't think I could see through it. Looks like one of those pilot jets, which is what causes surging. Got a little needle here. It's not straight though. through it now much better before it just seemed like it was kind of clogged all right maybe we did something there's another one there don't get confused Henry Two for two. I always strip these things. Ooh. So here's the long one. And I can't see through it. Odd. Yeah, can't even poke through there. I'm 
I'm gonna get another needle because this needle is like bent, you know? Got a new twisty tie here. I'm just gonna strip it of its sheathing. SOB. There we go. It's a nice straight little needle. There we go. Got it through. Okay, see that? There's like a little bit of stuff there on the tip. So now we got it cleaned out. There's no other small tiny hole that's hiding. That's cleared out. Got some contact cleaner from my friends over at Lucas Auto Products. That's clear. That's clear. No other little hole is hiding on the sides like the Tecumseh ones do. I'm gonna shoot some in here. Okay, that does, nothing goes through there. So look, I was concerned about this hole here. It doesn't, it doesn't go anywhere. It's not open. See, nothing comes out. So I guess that's why. But why make this, you know, if it's not going to go anywhere? Yes, I don't know why the uh, landscapers come right when I'm about to film. It's literally like when I get out of bed and I walk outside and I turn on the camera, landscapers come across the street. Okay, look, see? That's what happens when uh, I spray in here. Guess what? That's right, there's another one of these in here, the other barrel. Oh, will I be three for three today? Ooh, three for three. I always strip these damn things, always. Hey, there's the other one. So there's a lot of these. Hey. Okay, let's see if this is plot, plug, plug. It looks okay. It looks like it's clogged. I can't see anything, but it freely goes through there. Okay, it's not. It's so deceiving. It's clear. Blow stuff through it. It's a little bit of varnish, varnish in there. Using this stuff will clean it out. Blow in here some more. Look at that. It's in here. Doesn't seem to do anything. That didn't do anything because it leads down to here, which I thought goes somewhere, but it doesn't. Here's this is where the uh, fuel solenoid went. open oh here's another one geez four of them will I be four for four am I gonna be four for four? Oh my god <gasps> four for four without strippage amazing Henry don't mix it up I'll try not to mix it up Let's see can I see through it I can't hmm I should That's right, fellas, I'm just letting it roll because I'm doing a comprehensive carb clean. Removing all the jets out of here, making sure that the holes are clear. I'm not cutting, not editing, just letting it roll because somebody's gonna say, Hey, Harry, how come you didn't do a comprehensive one? You just basically took it off, showed us taking it off, and then you put it back on again. What you do in the middle? 
Okay, I'm showing exactly what I'm doing in the middle of it all. So, that's that. I think I got it. The outer ones are the long ones. The inner ones are the shorter ones. Wait, how did I get fuel in there again? Here. Okay, let's see if it goes through all four. It comes out the two middle ones, but it doesn't really come out the side ones here. I wonder what these are for. There's nowhere else you can go, you know what I mean? And over here, I mean, it has some black stuff here, see? See that? There's some black debris there that could have been trapped in between these holes there. So that could be it too. You know, there's a lot of black stuff in there. That's pretty clear. It's pretty clean. Hey, if I have to use a whole can, so be it, you know? Gotta clean it out. Or like they say in Canada, clean it out. I'm not making fun of Canadians. I love Canada. I go there on vacation every year, remember Christmas? But this year they have closed the borders to us sickly Americans. That's right, we're gonna have to close the borders because you Americans refuse to wear masks. You refuse to wear masks. People are dying. We don't want to catch your cooties. Here in Canada, we got it under control. So you guys stay out until you decide to wear masks. Damn it. I try to wear masks when I can. Listen, so I need to know what this is for. Because look, there's a passageway that goes there, but it's blocked off. So if it's blocked off, what's the, sto what's the story, man? What is it there for? I need to know. If any of you guys know what it is, please enlighten us all on the comment section. But uh, I think this is pretty clean right there, okay? So I've set this one aside, and I'm looking at the bottom of where this goes, okay? Here's the black float, which I've never seen before. Here's um, two main jets that stick down. Let's poke these holes. There's tiny holes right here on the side. Two. Okay, this one goes all the way through, see? This one should too, but it doesn't. There we go, see? Goes all the way through. And then it's got two on the other side that's offset, and that goes through. There's two over here, and it goes all the way through. See? Same goes for this. Henry, is it hard to get it in the hole? Sometimes. I mean, these, these holes, they seem clear, you know? And then there's these two holes in there that match up to the two holes that had this jet in it, so. Blow here. Ooh, look at that. That's where it comes out of. I think I used up the whole can, no more. Okay, that's clear. It's gonna blow through here. Emulsion tube, see? Clear, emulsion. Clear. Clear! Blowing it of debris. I only have air now in this can, nothing else. I wonder what that does. I'm gonna have to get another can of this stuff, guys. I'll be right back. Got a fresh new can. We'll continue blowing.
that's where the screws went so I don't think that does anything but we'll clean them out anyway so you can see as I my shooting it in there brown stuff comes out let's blow it in this hole and see what happens oh we did that already did that already in motion okay this one where does that go doesn't seem to do anything I'm gonna blow it in between here to clean it out I don't know, fellas. I think that's pretty clear. What do you think? I mean, we've gotten just about every hole there is. Oh, how about that? Another set of landscapers. By the way, we've had six straight days of beautiful weather. It's the first day that it's yucky. There are two tiny jets down there that come out of somewhere. I have a feeling it's... I have a feeling it's these two. You know what? I'm going to have to pull this out. Spline, okay? I'm going to turn this in and see what it's set at right now. One, two, three. Three. Okay, that's right. It was backed out one and a half, okay? Sons of guns! <laughs> Full of leaves everywhere. Needle in a haystack, I found it. All right, so I got these two things out. Let's push it in, see if it's three. One, two, three, four. Okay, so looking at the bottom up, this is four, and this is three. So that's how it was adjusted, okay? So I'm gonna back this out three, uh, four, back this out three. I'm gonna take these out completely. This is the uh, fuel mixture adjustment, very important. I bet you if I just messed with this while it was running, I probably would have fixed the surging. But I wanted to take it apart and do a carb clean anyway, you know? Because I've never done it before. Blow stuff in here, see where it comes out of. Aha! Uh -huh. That's where it comes out of, see? As you can see, it's clear. And that's clear. this all the way in until it won't go anymore and back it out four which is what it was before one two three four How about that you know I'll mess with it when we start this up and see that's tight 
won't go anymore. So one, two, three. That's about where it was. I'm not gonna put these two things on yet until we adjust them. But I think we got it all. The joints here, the area of pivots, you know, where it moves, clean out any varnish or gum that may be there. Shoot, how did that go again? Long ones were in the inside. Huh. Long ones were in the outside. Okay, it's pretty clean. To try to mate this with that gaskets came out a little bit i might have to wait until these palm down a little bit because it's just soaked 
while I said this contact cleaner doesn't blow up gaskets, it's blown up a little bit. So I'm gonna wait until this calms down a little bit. They weren't really blown up. Like you could just push them back in. They just came out because of all the fluid spraying it. So they weren't blown up. Just push them back in here and it'll go. Okay, so I pushed in this gasket. Gotta put some pressure over here. The gasket's there, but I can't figure out if it's this way or this way. This is the front where the choke flap is. Aha, uh -huh. so this was where the fuel solenoid was, right? The hole, so that's on the back for sure. So if this is the front, this has got to be pointed down. Got all the four jets in there. It's clean now. And uh, I guess I'll just put the four screws back in here again. And that'll be that. And reinstall. Still don't know what that is. Why is it there? Why, why do they make it if you're not gonna, if you're plugged up, you know what I mean? I just, I think of these things. I'm like, why? You know, what's the purpose? Why do you make that if it doesn't do anything? Leave in the comments, fellas. Let me know what you think. Um, shout out to Tom Shrek for donating to the channel yesterday. Thank you very much for the few bucks. He says uh, in the PayPal, here's a few bucks for the channel. I'm like, thanks, man. Really appreciate it. Every little bit helps if you guys like to donate a buck or two or a few bucks. PayPal.me slash mowers and blowers. Even a dollar. Just press the button. Send me a dollar. Dollar helps. Five people send a dollar. It's five dollars. Ten people send it. It's ten dollars. Just send me some money. Otherwise, you won't get videos every day. You know what I mean? Do you know how many days I've been going with uh, daily videos? Four, today is 45 videos consecutively without a day off you guys try that all right so i just put the bowl back on and i don't have any other jets lying around so i think maybe i could just put it on there but look you got the fuel solenoid and it doesn't seem to work should i just cut this that will ensure that i'll always be starting it right i'll have to sit here and think about it for a minute So I wanted to test the uh, fuel solenoid, see? So when I uh, turn the switch, it doesn't do anything. It kinda does, see? If you touch it, it moves a little. There we go, see? So it kind of works, you know what I mean? But it, not really. You know what? Since this is fuel pump delivery, right? It's not gonna get gas in there unless, um, it's not gonna get gas there unless the engine's on because of the pulse of the fuel pump. So this is really not necessary but it may cause problems. So it might backfire when you shut it off. So what? Dunsky. I hate these things. You know what? It's still sticking out a little bit. I may have to get a grinder to get that off. There we go. Clean off. And 
I'm going to screw this back in. That's right, I got to do it this way because these wires are still attached. And uh, this one leads all the way in there. I don't know where it goes. So it's all right. I'll just do it this way. No big deal. Tighten it up a little. There we go. Now I'm gonna have to figure out how to put this back on. Choke cable. And stretch it a little bit. Oh, it's hard to do. Can't do it that way. I don't know how you do that. If I have it on like this, then how am I going to get it in there? You know? So I remove this, uh, move this lever here. Move the choke lever temporarily. Spring loaded with an inward double washer. So if I remove this, There we go. Put the lever back. Inward washer with the spring. Nut back on. This was, by the way, hand tightened. I hand loosened it, so it was really loose. Push this back in like that. And E. Connect this small wire there, and that was where. Uh, okay. okay. This was. This was like that. Go in. This thing was like that. And I, you hook this over the loop there. Yeah, I think that's it. Push this in back like that. Put the studs back through again. Tighten this part here after I adjust it and make sure that the choke, you push down and it's wide open, you pull the choke lever and it's closed. So that's right. Try the lever for the throttle. Moves as it should. Okay, uh, next was, was it this first? And then this, or was it this first? I don't remember, man. Was it like that? Or was... Well, first, let's put the fuel line back on. There we go. Okay. Then, if you put this on like that, it's open. Do 
then you put it on like this. It doesn't fit. Or was it like this? Ah, it's like this. Because you see, you have the this thing protruding out. That's what it is. Then you put the two studs in here like that, all the way through to keep the, uh-huh, that's right. And it's starting to rain. Looks like we're almost done. We're in the home stretch. All right, wait, so then there's the, there's, then there's a long stud, right, that goes through here, right? And that's a 10 millimeter. Uh-huh. Then you got the two, two nuts that go on the studs, right, on the top. The bottom one was the only one that was like that. That's good. Oh, you have this, the breather hose that goes into this hole over here. It's very close to the choke cable. So I worry about it getting stuck and all, you know? I should have put this on before I put the uh, whole thing on because it's hard to, hard to get in there. So I went inside the pee. You know, I have to pee too, you know. And uh, Weed Whacker's gone. And dude left me $15. Found it on the street a couple of days ago, thanks to Quinn. Didn't do anything to it except list it. And now I have $15. You see? Collecting junk, picking trash off the street is money! Okie dokie. So I've got that on there, fuel line is on. This is secure, it's on choke, it's cleaned. What do you think guys, let's give her a start. Let's give her a start. You have to let it uh, crank a bit to get the fuel in there. Matter of fact, you really should try to spray some go-go juice in there to help it get started, you know? I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna shoot a little bit of go-go juice in there just to help it get started off. And then when the engine's cranking, it'll uh, it'll be easier. Close the choke. Give it another try. fuel mixture. It seems to run really well right now. Maximum 
Stoke it! Well, how about that, fellas, huh? Does this thing sound absolutely fantastic or what? Sounds great. And I didn't even have to use my ultrasonic cleaner either. I was thinking about doing that, but wanted to do a conventional carburetor clean. And we were really detailed about this carburetor clean, you know? Uh, I'm happy I did it. I'm not gonna mess with the fuel mixture screws because if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I'm gonna put these plastic caps back on the spline, uh, the splined um, fuel mixture screws because I'm not gonna mess with it. Uh, these actually hold it in place so it doesn't move from its settings. Cover back on and this engine is good to go stoked really stoked because this engine just sounds fantastic you know man oh man I think I could put the hood back on too what do you think should I put the hood back on <clears throat> this goes on just like an AYP product which it is just like a craftsman about that huh that looks like a real tractor now I'm gonna hook up the lights Let's see if they work <laughs> believe these things you got to choke it every time you want to start it about that huh amazing it surged pretty badly yesterday when my buddy Bill Martini and I were messing with the uh, gas and brake lever fixed that all up and now it rolls forward and backwards drives no problem you know took that ignition switch off yesterday too that second one which you don't really need because it was used for bypassing as an option but uh, I'm trying to keep it as stock as possible for a change we noticed that it surged quite a bit at all throttles except for a super low idle uh, which means that we knew that the carburetor probably needed a cleaning while I didn't find too many uh, too too dirty of a carburetor it did have some very tiny little black debris that was inside the bowl and that could clog the little small tiny holes in all the four different jets that we removed today also, the air fuel mixture screws, we took those out and blew out all the orifices. So I think I did a pretty good comprehensive cleaning of a Vanguard Briggs & Stratton V-twin 23 horsepower vertical shaft engine. Man, oh man, is that a mouthful or what? Put the hood back on, runs great and smooth, and I'm not even going to mess with the fuel mixture screws. And I was thinking about doing a valve uh, lash, you know, valve adjustment on the clearances, but it starts up just fine. I'm not going to mess with something that works just fine, you know what I mean? So uh, unless there's a reason to, I'm not going to do it. This engine is ready to go. Maybe I'll buy one of those right standers that have a blown engine for like 500 bucks. Put this engine on there, then I'll have a right stander for like 500 bucks. That'd be great. Got the lights to work too, man. Just plugged it in. Had to weasel this bulb a little bit, you know? Why do you small engine shops do that? Put your sticker over a somebody else's equipment, man. And now I'm going to have a hell of a time getting this damn thing off. Don't stick it there. Stick it somewhere else where you can't see it. Anyway, that's my uh, video for today. A comprehensive carburetor clean of a Vanguard vertical shaft V-twin Briggs & Stratton engine. Hope you guys enjoyed it.
I'm stoked because it runs great. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Hey, if you guys enjoyed the video, remember to give me a like. Also, comment below. Subscribe. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's free, right? Also, hit that little bell. That way you'll get post notifications whenever there's a new video and you won't miss out on any of them. Remember to follow my Instagram and Facebook, as well as if you'd like to donate a dollar or two, paypal.me slash mowers and blowers. Really appreciate all the support. Also, to keep the videos coming every day, support the channel. Bye.